Hey, Water Signs. I do not own the rights to any music you may hear in this video. And um, like and subscribe if you get anything out of this. I'm Mimi, aka Pisces and Sierra, okay? You see how this jump on the backwards that was? I'm Mimi, aka Pisces and Sierra, okay? Like and subscribe if you get anything out of this. Thank you to those of you who do like, subscribe, and comment, okay? Welcome to all the new subscribers. I'm so happy to see y'all, okay? Welcome to the Soul Family. Uh, God, Archangels, Ancestors, Ascendant, Masters, all beings of light only. Welcome into this reading. Please give the water signs the best and most accurate information for them at this time, okay? Y'all know I love to show off my new decks. And um, I have a new one that I used for all of the readings today, okay? Hold on, I'm going to show you your name. But this fucking... <laughs> Sage is not doing nothing. You know what? I, I'm also gonna pause it because I need some water in my diffuser. I forgot. I knocked it over and it's like I'm missing. It was totally water in there. I didn't even move. <laughs> okay, so oh, I dreamt about tea. Okay, I dreamt that I was pouring tea. I dreamt I was pouring purple tea. Okay, purple represents um royalty and tea represents like the same thing it kind of represents you know in actual life you know um you know the the revelation of something something being like exposed i suppose oh this is um empress lillian's deck okay the universe messages i really like it okay i also ordered ordered maji's deck i'm trying to see what they all do king aloha got good cards too it says, I'm always at the right place at the right time in patience, okay? So you might be feeling kind of impatient with yourself, okay? It says, don't know, don't you know your love is so divine? Like, don't you know your love is so divine? It's fabulous and wonderful and perfect. Like, you should not be rushing yourself to grow into yourself. It says, focus on yourself before getting into a relationship, okay? Maybe um, that's a lesson that you have learned recently or that you're learning right now. It says, believe receiving support in dreams, okay? Um, so you're receiving a lot of support in the dream realm, okay? You could be doing a lot of um, like healing while you're asleep, okay? Having a lot of meetings with spirit, I heard. It says, um, divine time for enjoyment at the bottom of the deck. Let me see. I'm also going to pull y'all a rune, okay, and open the crystal book and switch the song and tell you what the lyrics are, okay? It says, don't compare the old with the new, okay? So you could have some new person coming in, okay? Um, <clears throat> make sure that you don't compare them to the old person, okay? This says money, power, respect, okay? So maybe <laughs> that's what you're about to come into, you know? More money, more power, more respect, okay? More love. Um, oh, shit. I don't know why it says faith in reverse. I don't know. Maybe you need to have a little bit more faith, you know, in spirit that they're going to do <laughs> what they say they're going to do. You know, maybe that's how you're, you're going to get to the next step is if you really, um, and it says faith on my shirt too. Okay. <sighs> Come on. It says, don't worry about a thing. That's what it says. If, you know, if you really, really have faith that something's going to work out, you know, you won't be worried about it. You might, I don't know, it's kind of hard to say, though. You know, it's like, we're people at the end of the day. Spiritually, you're going to get 100 bands. Don't trip. <laughs> say 100 bands. 10 bands in the right hand. In the right hand. 10 bands in the left hand, okay? That's what it said. Don't worry about a thing, okay? Um... Your money is coming up, okay? Like, everything is on the come up. But it's like, just make sure that you... It's like, okay, because expect a miracle came out in reverse. Like, you need to be expecting miracles at all times. Like, you need to really, really believe in magic, okay? Believe that the totally impossible thing, you know, or seemingly impossible thing that you want is going to happen, you know? All things are possible, okay, through God. So, it's like... 
if you're, but magic happens when you most expect it. Okay. It says mental health is very important. Mental health is very important. You need to always have your fucking mind right before you can be a vibrational match to something. If your head is not right on that situation, spirits not going to bless you with whatever it is that you think you're ready for. It says your heart should guide you correctly. Okay. So always follow your intuition. It says, I heal when I accept the situation and move forward and forgive myself and those who hurt me. Okay. So that's really important. That's what you really, really, really need to do. You know what I'm saying? Um, it might be a lot of people out here talking, you know, talking on your name, you know, that's what I really got from the tea thing. You know, um, I was even singing laugh now, cry later. I think that, that that's kind of what I'm getting from this. What did it say? Don't compare the old with the new, you know, it's like, sometimes we laugh and sometimes we cry, but I guess, you know, now, you know, it's like, you always used to get to a point where you're laughing and you're happy and you're celebrating and you're to a place where everything's better, you know, and then shit just falls down, you know, next thing you know, you just on your ass and you're like, what? I made every move right. You know, I did everything that I could do to make sure that this went proper, you know, yet you did everything but expect a miracle, you know, you can't um, expect a miracle and then um, be like doing negative self-talk and thinking about all the things that could go wrong, you know, thinking about all the things that could go wrong is how you manifest the things that could go wrong. And I understand where water signs, okay, this, that's really um, much easier said than done, you know what I mean? But it's like, you have a handful of of blessings and gifts of all kinds. Okay. As long as you're seeking higher, higher education, higher knowledge of who God is and how your angels move and which ancestors are yours, you know, where did you come from? As long as you're seeking the wisdom, you're going to, um, have all of the choices and, you know, answers that you need. It says I'm responsible for my choices. Okay. It says, help me release all things that no longer serve me. God. Okay. That's what you need to say to God. Um, you could be traveling soon. Okay. It says that you need to follow your heart again. It says you got this though. Like you got this. Okay. You could be going through a transformation. Okay. Look, it says true. You're a star in my head. Okay. True. You're so bad. We don't need to pretend, but I don't want war with you. Like nobody even wants it with you right now. Don't nobody even want war with you. They want you to be a best friend. <laughs> But God is your best friend, okay? Let me tell you. Let me tell you about God. He stayed true. <laughs> he stayed true. And y'all never go part again, okay? Because he your best friend. Hey, I'm loyal. I got money on me and I'm loyal. I got money in my pocket. I'm loyal. Ooh. You just have to have faith that he going to be there. You know what I'm saying? This is um Ewas. I think, I don't know. I don't know. I don't really know. If I'm not tripping, it's, there's two of them that they be calling Ewas. Let me see. I might be totally wrong. I think that might be Sawillo. I don't know why, why, why I said Ewas. What am I talking about? No, no, no. It's Sawillo. It's definitely Sawillo, which is great. <laughs> I mean, not like Ewas is bad either, but the willow is, is, is of the sun. Okay. It's the sun rune. Okay. Um, it says the appearance of the willow in a reading cats, a warm glow through a person's fate. Okay. It is traditionally said that this rune can undo much of the harm of even the most negative rune reading. Okay. It is a rune of hope, promising that even in the blackest of circumstances, light will come again and that bad times do not last forever. Thus, the willow is an excellent rune um, to draw when you are in trouble because a happy outcome <coughs> is certain. If there is a major decision to be made, the willow will cast a beam of light on the situation, banishing all confusion and making the issues absolutely clear. This is particularly relevant in legal affairs as the willow is symbolically connected to the virtue of justice. So whatever this rune, I mean, wherever this rune appears in a reading, you can always be sure that the right action will be taken, the correct decisions made, and a fair judgment given. If you are one of the lignants, then it is extremely likely that this fair verdict will go in your favor. 
a litigant. So I was like, what? <laughs> you know, if you're a litigant in the litigation of the of the damn trial or whatever, okay, it says. <laughs> so Willow is intimately linked with the workings of the human heart. It is considered a good omen for your love life, okay? Adding warmth and affection and banishing coldness and hard attitudes when considering matters of love, okay? So Willow predicts a long and happy partnership and if found together with Wunjo, marriage is very likely indeed. Okay, let me tell you. Let me tell you what Wunjo say. Uh, no. Uh, 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 uh. I guess this is going to be your, your song. Woke up. Woke up with a sack. Woke up with them rexing on me and stuff like backpacks. Woke up with that strap on me. I went and copped the challenge. Okay, look. <laughs> you better get it. You better get it. <laughs> like. So Wunjo is the rune of happy endings, okay? It says the arrival of this rune cannot fail to lift your spirit because it denotes a period of spectacular good fortune. This may be found in the home as domestic harmony or as security in the company of good trusted friends. However, it is in the realm of romance that the full power of Wunjo is truly expressed. So its appearance can foretell falling in love and possibly a meeting with someone who's very attractive. This is because Wunjo has strong associations with um, exceptional physical beauty. If Wunjo appears as an answer in a rune reading, then you can be sure that romance will blossom and a relationship will flourish and a deep contentment will be found. Wunjo can also show pleasant and advantageous dealings with others, okay? And business partnerships will be profitable. And in your social life, new lasting friendships will be formed and health issues, tender loving care will pay dividends. And as Wunjo is also the rune of happy endings, all will be well, okay? <laughs> so it's like, they don't have nothing bad to say to you. Let me see. Did I already open this book? I don't think I did. Um, it says... Trigonic Nirvana Courts. I just came with y'all. <laughs> let me see. Wait, let me see. Okay. What's the difference? It's just one of the sections in the Nirvana Courts. Okay, look. This is the regular Nirvana Courts, okay? But this is the one it opened to this um, Trigonic Nirvana Courts. So it says, um, opening to the future... Heart, brain, synergy, inner silence, destiny, evolution, trust, self-acceptance, okay? So that's all you have to do is just like accept yourself and have faith that you can really make like this thing happen and it'll happen. It says um, Nirvana crystals resonate at the intersection, I mean, at the intersection of Past and present time, they have apparently existed in quiet isolation beneath, beneath glacial ice for many thousands of years. So it's like you were, you were really cold for a long time, you know, because you went through a lot of shit. Spirit saying now, you know, just expect the happy endings that are like no doubt coming to you. Okay, no lie. Low life, low life. Just avoid the low lives. It says, because so many of these crystals are trigonic, um, I refer readers to the courts chapter of this book and the final section on trigonics. <laughs> Dang. I don't know. Let's just go somewhere else. Golden Labradorite. Right use of will, clarity, confidence, power, vitality, creativity, and pur pur purposefulness. Jeez, her middle finger up like pocket. She been smoking a lot, saying fuck the police and the judge on top. Okay, you a rebel right now. Um, it says golden labradorite is one of the best stones working with the third chakra. Um, so the solar plexus. Okay, you should get some golden labradorite for your solar plexus. Like maybe that, that will really give you like a confidence boost. Okay. It says, I call forth my personal power to be used with clarity and integrity through the action of enlightened will. That's the affirmation. Okay. It says, um, 
Goshenite is a mental stimulant, okay? Enhances dreams, loyalty, truth, prayer, spiritual assistance, okay? Um, the element of it is wind, okay? Um, so it works with the third eye, the crown, the etheric eighth through 14th above the head, okay? So Goshenite works with all of your upper chakras, okay? So maybe you get like some crown chakra upgrades, okay? <laughs> What's the affirmation for this? Uh, the affirmation is my higher vision is active and I view all levels of being with the eyes of truth and a heart of loyalty, kindness, and compassion. Let me see. What is this? Ooh, this is bear, right? I love this book. It's so pretty. Look, look at this. Look at it. That's fine. It looks like coral reef. Okay. It says um, it helps with inner vision, energetic alignment, and interdimensional travel. Okay. So you can travel inter like in between dimensions. Okay. Um, there's more third eye and crown chakra energy though, for sure. Let me see. Where's Where's the affirmation at? The affirmation says, I open my eyes, I open my inner eyes to see higher and more deeply into the world of spirit, okay? Fire. <laughs> um, so you could be a channel, the songs that I can't get out of my mind. So you could be hearing things, okay? You could be hear spirit talk, talking to you, okay? It says, oh my gosh, the next one says, um, Benny Toits, I think that's how you say it. This is how it looks. This shit say, um, channeling enhanced psychic abilities, increase in synchronicity. <laughs> okay. So you can be seeing a lot more signs. Okay. This also works with your third eye. Your third eye is like really doing, um, some amazing things right now. You could be having like headaches. Um, it says I open myself to inner sight and higher perception for the good of all. So, um, spirit might be putting you through, um, a rush type of type of, um, Ascension, okay. It says light and darkness, divine purpose and joy. This um barrel alone night. What does this say? It says all of us experience times of darkness in our lives by they momentary oh, be they momentary or prolonged. And of course, the only true remedy for darkness is light. Okay. So the only true <laughs> remedy for darkness is a light, you know? So always make sure you're just shining your light on shit. That's why y'all always see me rolling. I'll be dying <laughs> shit because it's really the only way, you know, to really like to just cope and just move on from it is to really find the humor in it all. Like, or you would just be fucking miserable. Like if you really spend time thinking about all the fuck shit that people try to do to us, <laughs> okay, <laughs> then we would be some sad, sad, sad people, but fuck that, fuck that shit, okay. I'd be feeling like my third eye is gonna just open like Dr. Strange's. <laughs> For real, like, I'd be feeling like that shit's gonna be like, <laughs> oh, it shit looks creepy though. It looks creepy, I cannot think it. You might like Dr. Strange, okay. <laughs> Um, but your third eye is strong like that, you know, like that's crazy. Okay. It says, um, I see and affirm the manifestation of divine purpose in all the events of life over and done, but the heartache lives on inside. Yeah. Like, mm -mm, that's not it. <laughs> it says that your spirit guides are with you, okay? Um, you could be seeing a lot of feathers. You could find a lot of feathers. You could just really like feathers. As you can see, I love feathers. I love my little feather earrings, okay? I spirit ordered me a whole bunch of them. A whole pack. They're like, get the whole pack, damn it. Look, you got these coins coming up, you know? But I mean, more than that, you're just like really, really rich inside of you, okay? <laughs> Look, pay attention to any music messages that you're hearing, okay? Just like I do it, okay? You're very clear audience. I don't think you realize how clear audience you are. That's why you're hearing things in your head, okay? You're getting these, um, the eighth through 14 chakras upgraded. That's what it said in, in the crystal book, okay? It says, loved ones in spirit, okay? Your ancestors and your guides, they're helping you through this transition, okay? You could be seeing rainbows everywhere, like, um, double rainbows. Um, it says juggler. Try not to juggle so much, okay? Like, 
you have help, okay? Um, I mean, I know I get it. <laughs> I kind of almost heard somebody complain, like, what? like uh, how can I do that? Like, I don't know, find time for you, okay? Like, find the time in between, you know, how is these bills going to get paid? What does the baby need? Oh, I got to work out. Oh, I have to go to work. Oh, I have to go to class. Oh, I have to um, go on social media. It's all the social media letters, <laughs> you know. Oh, you know, find the time to yourself, okay? Even if that time is just sitting down reading a book, you know, or like whatever. But stop juggling so much, you know, because it's making it harder on you and on your energy, okay? Spirit saying that you need to take some time, like, Time with your head in the clouds is a good thing, okay? That 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 imaginative type of energy that the water signs have, you know? Um, go with the flow a little bit more, you know? Stop trying to control so much of um, the day-to-day -day because you're not doing it all, okay? It's like you'll never see me fall apart. It's like you have so many emotions, you know, that you need to release, but you don't even have time to release the emotions. And then you're wondering why are my ships not coming in right now? Because, you know, you're not listening to your angels. OK, um, it says numbers. I'm going to get you some numbers. I'm going to get you some numbers. So 443 <laughs> and 560. OK. Now that I need you, wherever you go, that leads to your ocean. From the words of a broken. So 442 means human in Greek. It says mankind relating to human nature. Um, so it's like, I'm only human is what I'm getting. Like I'm only, you're only human, but it's not, I'm not even supposed to be looking at 442. I'm supposed to be looking at 443. Okay. <laughs> Nobody. So 443 is a man slayer. Okay. So I just, I mean, anytime I hear anything about like shooting, slaying, killing, like I, I just automatically think like karma, it's just getting a karma. Like. It's like you dealt with a whole bunch of manslayers or like woman slayers, you know, like, bitch, I'm not a vampire. Like they leave the vampires alone. <laughs> what? Remember Shawty made a monkey on the dick? Okay. So they about to, uh, catch <laughs> no, this is throw fits. <laughs> Scared for to throw some fits in your behalf. Okay. <laughs> Look. It says turn back to return, okay? And 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 I just did you guys's um I did you guys's elemental reading late, okay? So I did it on Monday and this that's what they were talking about. You guys getting back everything that you deserved, okay? <laughs> Let me look at 560. I'm going to look up the angel number 562, okay? This is It says to despair of, I give up in despair. I hope to receive from or in return. To say, tell, or command. So maybe you need to tell spirit what exactly it is that you need. You know, like sometimes spirit just waiting for you to have more clarity on where it is you're trying to go. Okay. And or before they make it, just go ahead and make it happen. You know, they just want you to be aware, like, okay, you know, to not be afraid to dream that big. Okay. <laughs> Sometimes they just want to hear you have the nerve to open your mouth and ask God for that. And then watch God bless you. Like, okay, baby, now, you know, you worth it. Huh? <laughs> Here you go. You know, like so most people, you know, they have these dreams and they think that this is some shit that will never, ever happen. <clears throat> Excuse me. But whatever you make happen is what's going to happen. You know, you co-create with God though. <laughs> so it's also important to always remember that and to always be um, very kind to yourself and to others. Okay. It says angel number 560 brings a message from your angels that um, the charge, the changes you have made in your life 
have paved the way for stability, balance, and abundance in many ways. Shift your focus to your life goals and strive towards achieving them, knowing that success will ultimately be yours, okay? Be open to receiving and accepting help and assistance from the most unlikely of sources and trust that your monetary wants and needs will be taken care of by the universal energies. Um, 560 suggests that you will manifest all that you need in your life to sustain and maintain you along your divine life path. Give any fears, worries, or concerns to the angels so that they can be lifted from you, healed, and transmuted. Have confidence that your daily monetary needs are being taken care of by the angels and the universal forces. And trust that the angels are watching over you, supporting, encouraging, and guiding you along the way. When you live your life being true to yourself and honest with others, you manifest positive energies and desired outcomes. Um, move forward with positive plans and ideas as they will prove to be the most beneficial in all ways for yourself and your loved ones. Okay. So I think they just told you something, but I'm gonna get y'all some more cards. Just a little bit more. Cause I want to, I like to finish my spread, but this is kind of a wide spread. Okay. I might cut it short because we already had 25 minutes. Oh, somebody about to get a house. Okay. Um, you just, as soon as you change your perspective, okay, you're going to, and as soon as you change your perspective, you know, and something about the way you're communicating with spirit, okay, that's when you'll stop feeling like, you know, somebody let the bag of marble spill on the floor, you know, also you might need to be grounded, okay, I just seen a person like falling, okay, like on the marbles, okay, you need to um, get grounded, it can, when you're not grounded, okay, it makes you feel kind of discombobulated, it has symptoms, okay, it makes you feel like discombobulated, you know, kind of silly, like losing things all the time, like, like me as a water sign, that was the best thing that I ever learned was to ground myself. Okay. And and who knew that would turn out to be like the most important part of this career that I have going on. God, okay. <laughs> like I need to ground myself very often. Okay. Um, especially when I'm always using my gifts all the time. It's like they got a lot of information for y'all, like just by the cards and things that, <laughs> that they picking and saying. Like it says dolphin play, okay? So um there's a need for you to go ahead and play. It's like you are star royalty. Ooh, look at this card. It's bomb. You're star royalty, okay? Um, you're you have a very enlightened gut and you need to follow it and listen to it and trust it that it's telling you the right things that you need to hear at the right time, okay? And don't be afraid to let your imagination just go wild. Like I said, like remember way back when you was little and you used to just, you know, really look at the stars and really have this you know, um, this sense of wonder, you know, you just knew things like the way you imagined was so big and so, you know, like way out of this world, you know, and you even, <laughs> you know, it's like, but you just knew that that thing would happen. Okay. That's how you're going to get these, um, you know, these epiphanies, these lightning types of moments where these ideas are going to just drop on you, you know, when you really embrace your inner child. Okay. Look at, why is this in here? <laughs> why is this in here? This is, this deck is already out. Okay. Over there on the chair. They don't even go next to each other, okay? But anyways, it says timid, misunderstood, and shy, okay? Avoid being timid, misunderstood, or shy, like, um, especially if, I mean, well, if that's not your personality, you know, then don't be that. It's like, if you loud and, and, and out loud and, you know, you want to show off your fifth dimensional access. Okay. Then do that. <laughs> don't dim your light. I think is the point. Like, I guess I'm using these next. Okay. <laughs> Don't dim your light because you're not of this world. You're not here to fit in. <laughs> we could tell niggas today, hey, I want to come, motherfucker. Hey, look, be yourself. <laughs> Whatever the fuck you want to say, like, say that shit, period. Express yourself. This nigga Kanye is making a whole song about somebody, how somebody a hoe and he love it. <laughs> how it eats. And you know he can do that. That's way that was what was on his mind. He, just think about all the millions of people who enjoy this song about how some bitch is a hoe and he love it. Like it's just that simple. Like just express yourself the way you came to express yourself. I mean, obviously, don't do it like they doing it. Don't do it like Kanye doing it. Okay? <laughs>
because um, now I don't want to get into Kanye, but look, 33, <laughs> the Macurba, okay? It says movement, long distance travel, excitement, okay? It says Pleiadians, unconditional love, excitement, laughter. There's some excitement coming up, clearly, okay? It says lovers, erotica, sensuality, okay? So you could be calling in like um, a new mate, okay? Somebody to play with. But I mean not to play with at all, like in the best ways, okay? Somebody to do all of your big grown-up play that you've been waiting to do with. I don't know what the heck was that. That just happened. It says uncertainty, distrust, guarded, okay? So um, Spirit's saying like just... Just because you're uncertain about something doesn't mean you have to be so guarded and closed off to the possibility of that thing happening. You know, it's like that's the same as expecting. I mean, comparing the old with the new. Right. Don't do that. Don't compare the old with the new, because sometimes there'll be a lot of similarities and it'd be some whole other shit totally different from what you was thinking it was when you was comparing the old with the new. It's like if you are still comparing the old with the new, then that's something you still need to do some healing on. Let me see what else. Okay, I don't know why I be doing that. I don't know what that was. That didn't shuffle at all. <laughs> that shit did not go together at all. Mm, sorry, I know that's loud. It says endings bring new beginnings, growth, change, liberation, and transition. Okay. You can be walking around here like you to plug. <laughs> okay. All you need to do is just get over like a little bit of, um, maybe look into codependency. Okay. It says the runner. Um, runner in a codependent relationship, fear of intimacy, listening to ego. Okay. Yeah. Just um, focus on quieting the mind more. It says, Butterfly relationship evolving to the next phase, um, healing the inner child and growth. Okay, that's what I was talking about. It's like that is the next phase. Okay, that you're gonna have to do a lot of self indulgence. Okay, a lot of focusing on yourself, you know, and um, look into codependency. Okay, um, spirit had me do research on it to really find f have more education on what it is. You know, knowledge is power. The more you know about a thing, the more you can you know, either do more of that or avoid doing that. Okay. So look into codependency. Okay. It's very healthy to go and read about things like that, especially if you think it's something that, you know, you could have been affected by. Um, you could be feeling like a little pin, you know, feelings like I'm sure you could have thought about Googling it before or whatever, but you just never did it. Okay. It says time to heal shadow work, self-appreciation. Okay. Um, it says love, unconditional love, self-love, oneness, passion, affection and attraction okay it says mass not showing true feelings hide personality pretend delude gaslighting okay so you could be surrounded by a bunch of fucking narcissists that are always um gaslighting and you know acting like they didn't hear you or just like the like tiniest little most twistedest little fucking narcissistic moves that they could come up with oh gosh they're exhausting okay especially if you're empathic i can just feel the drain of it <laughs> like ugh. clarity truth revelation solidarity force honor protection and power okay just go forth protect yourself okay um avoid like numbing don't numb so much okay like numbing is smoking drinking you know i mean until you have a handle on your emotions is all i'm saying i ain't trying to change nobody's life, you know, avoid looking at people's photos and nostalgia or someone's looking at your photos, missing you and you like, I just want, I just want happiness, expansion and joy. I just want playfulness and oneness and to be enjoying me and whoever I'm with. Okay. Each other, whoever the fuck I'm with, I want to be enjoying that shit or I don't want to be around. <laughs> okay. Um, it says not today, not dealing hurt, avoiding a conversation, call person or boundaries, still angry. Okay. I don't know. It says outdated thinking, conditioning, replaying events over in your head. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe there's something somebody's still angry about, you know, 
and it's okay to 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 um, get angry. Okay, that's it's fine. It's fine to get angry, but really nothing should make you angry. Okay, it's like they're not making you angry though. You're making you angry, so you're gonna have to forgive yourself and get that anger out of the way if you want to go to the next level. Because you know when you're really ready, you won't be emotionally reacting to anything. Like nobody should be able to piss you off, ruffle your feathers. Okay, that's how you're gonna get to this abundance. Okay, um, it says keep a positive mindset, manifest exactly what you want gratitude and bliss, you know, you have to be um, really stable and secure in your growth. And, you know, it, it takes time. Like it's, you're, you're building up to it. Okay. You're, you're so much closer, you know, and it sounds like a lot of things that you have to do, but really it's as simple as switching your mind into, okay, I'm going to do this more, you know, I'm going to do this a little bit a little bit, but you know, I'm gonna write this down every day or I'm going to, I'm going to start lighting a candle every such and such day, you know, it's really easy fixes. Okay. So you just really have to follow your intuition on it and do whatever spirit is calling you to do. Okay. Um, you might want to get some, if you have a diffuser, okay. Order some, order some Australian sandalwood. Okay. Some clary sage would be nice too. I'm hearing orange. I'm hearing lemongrass. Okay. Yeah, listen to some sound bowl videos, okay? <laughs> I'm just listening to what they're saying. Okay, some dragon blood incense, okay? Um, just good old-fashioned sage is what I heard. Look, it says hands of cards. Take a chance. Risk <laughs> being strategic. Options not showing hand gambling. Don't tell people what you're doing to like stop showing people your hand, okay? Because when people once people see your hand, they just want to stab you in the back and figure it. knowledge is power, like I keep saying. The less people know about your business, the less they can do to ruin your fucking business. Don't tell nobody shit. It says you're entering a new phase, okay? It says rekindle, renew, transformation, growth mind, growth changed mind, okay? So Something is going to click. Something either recently clicked, is clicking right now, or it's going to click in a couple of days. Like, hey, okay, this is where, you know, this is what I want to do. Or, you know, um, it's simple. Like I said, it's as simple as making a decision. Okay. So um, really meditate on whatever it is you think that could be getting in your way. And spirit will, you know, even if they show you a number or a color, they're going to bring to your attention, you know, what it is that you need to do. Okay. So with that, I'm done, okay? Don't let anybody seduce you into their bullshit, okay? And um, have a happy, fabulous, wonderful, amazing day avoiding all the girls and boys that are holding snakes out this bitch. Bye.